Right. I know I haven't done a video for a while, so I thought I'd show you what, to, what I'm up to over this bank holiday weekend. Um, as some of you may know, I'm, certainly guys on the group will know, I've uh, got a 420 Jack and um, it's been stood in a garage since 1988, I think, or 1986 maybe, when the last time it was on the road. Um, stored dry, really uh, 50. 6,000 miles, genuine, um, beautiful car. Um, don't know why it was taken off the road, something to do with apparently the engine had been rebuilt or, you know, you hear these stories. But anyway, um, got it. All oh, bits and pieces missing off the car, but we got most of the bits with it. Um, built it all up, got it running about two or three weeks ago. Um, had a run down to Sirencester. And the overdrive was a bit, um, a bit slow, a bit sluggish, changing, you know, engaging. Um, but it engaged and it worked fine. No, we all drove, you know, all the way down to Sirencester from Doncaster, no problem at all. Just about uh, got to uh, the steam rally and um, it stopped. Blow fuse on the ignition. Don't know why, but it did. Uh, so I fixed that, and then the overdrive won't work again after that. So we had to drive it all the way back home, 100 and sod miles um, in fourth gear, no overdrive. So uh, needless to say, fuel consumption went way up. But anyway, managed to get back okay. So inspected the overdrive and found that the accumulated piston uh, rings, a couple of them had been broken. So um, I decided to pull the box and uh, get the uh, overdrive rebuilt. Now, unfortunately, on the 420 Jag, you can't just drop the box. It's an engine out with a box. And um, so that's what I've been doing. And uh, I'll show you what I've been up to. So this is a little beauty. 1968 420. Beautiful car. Um, need a paint job, but it's good enough for, for now. And as you can see, there's a gaping great hole where the engine should be. So I, I pulled the engine and box out yesterday, pretty straightforward, nice, easy, not an easy job, but you know, for me, it was great fun. Really enjoy challenge, but uh, quite involved. As you can see from the inside, you've got to take quite a bit off just to get the gear lever off. And then uh, you can see that door. Oh, I love closing that door. <laughs> anyway, there's the engine, more about that in a second. And there's the gearbox with the overdrive ready to go to the refurb refurbishment people. I had to pull the bell housing off because um, the starter motors mounted to the bell housing. So bolted the bell housing back onto the engine. I had to adapt my engine test bed to fit the engine, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the ones I usually have in this test bed, but it fitted okay and it worked well. So, we're uh, all set up, ready to go. Now, I'm not going to say, oh, it's going to be the first time it's fired up and all this sort of butt crap. No, I have had it running to, to make sure everything's okay, but I figured you guys would like to uh, like to see it and hear it, especially hear it. Um, just running i think i might have an air leak on one of the uh, on the rear carburetor it's just not running perfect but anyway it's running good enough for you a lot so here we go <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed that as much as I do. <laughs> there you go. As I can say, it was, it was not running all six cylinders. Um, main reason why I got it running was because I, there was a, a bad oil leak on it. And I just wanted to make sure I found the oil leak. It was on the, believe it or not, it was on the rocker cover of all things. Right at the back. But anyway, um, I wanted to get it running just to run it for a short amount of time. Just to see if I've cured the oil leak, which I think I have. Can't see anything leaking now. And um, when I put it back in, I saw Paul new gaskets on the carbs and everything. It was running spot on before uh, I took it out. So I know it's perfectly all right. So uh, yeah, watch the space and I might, uh, might do a video of putting the engine back in. Catch you later.